EPMU 1.7.4 uh, D uh, playing Mario Kart 8 at 1080p. I've got the 1080p graphics pack on. I'm just waiting to make sure the stream is definitely going out on my phone. Bear with me. Yep, there we go. I have the uh, 1080p graphics pack on. And I'm just going to show you um, how it works. Basically, the first lap, because I've never played this uh, level before, the first lap will be a jerky, nasty, frame-dropped mess. Because what it's doing is it's building up something called a shader cache. And basically, with this game, the more you play, uh, the smoother it will become. So I will show you. This is a brilliant game to show you the difference a shader cache will make. So, a uh, lap one, as you can see, is a jerky, nasty mess. However, most of the time, I will run at around about 58 to 60 frames a second. But yeah, it's where it's building up a shader cache. As you can see, graphics look absolutely beautiful. They have done a really good job in upscaling this to 10A. It looks fantastic. But as you can see, little jerky micro stutters here and there is basically what it's doing is it's loading the shaders into the cache uh, where it saves it as a, in a big file on your hard drive. And then the next time you play it, um, it'll load the shaders from this cache and basically the whole, uh, the whole game will be a lot smoother. So in theory now, lap two, providing I don't go too much of a different route, um, should be a hell of a lot smoother, less micro starters. And as you can see, actually is a lot better. I mean, bear in mind that CEMU, uh, CEMU, CEMU, or however it can be pronounced, is still heavily in development, um, and they're constantly updating it. Um, so it's going to get better the more and more you play it. Uh, and the more and more um, the emulators being updated as well. But as you can see, lap two, no micro stutters at all. And that's because of that shader cache that's now been built up. I mean, to think, this has got the 1080p graphics pack on, and it's just uh, an emulator running on what is effectively quite modest hardware. When you think about it, the HP Omen laptop I've got is basically this year's base model. It's only rocking the i5, not the i7, and it's only rocking the standard 2 with the GTX 1050, and not the more powerful 1050 Ti. And uh, yeah, it's doing a wonderful job. I mean, this emulator has the potential to be as good as Dolphin is for the week. I mean, it is showing some really big promise very early on. As you can see, lap one, jerky stuttery mess lap two and three have been so far pretty much just under 60 frames a second and that is all down to that shader cache and now we'll do it again on a, the next race and you'll see the same uh, happen you will get a break in the video uh, basically The break you just saw in the video there, the pause bit there, was basically the game, when it loads between uh, different scenes, it will, uh, it does cause the emulator to report to Windows when it's not responding, but just bear with it a few seconds and it does pick up again. But as you can see, this lap I can pretty much guarantee the first lap will be stuttery, jerky, quite horrible, but then two and three onwards, depending as I said, which route I go will generally be a lot better because of the shader cache. The only downside with having to build the shader cache as you're playing it is obviously certain games, say Bayonetta, I can think of. To get it to run smoothly, you'd have to complete the whole game first. <laughs> so it's yeah, it kind of. It, it, I can see it's a brilliant, useful tool having the cache, but then having to also having to build it up 
is a bit of a pain in the ass. But by all accounts, you can search online where people have uh, taken the time to build the shader cache for you and uh, download it and just install it into the uh, cache folder, and that should work. But yeah, otherwise, though, for a game like Mario Kart, where you'll instantly play, you'll keep replaying it and replaying it. You know, that's not going to be an issue. I mean, yeah, as, in fact, this level hasn't actually had that many micro starters. You know, I'm just, um, I'm literally just under 60 frames a second. I do have V-Sync turned on to uh, eliminate all the screen tear and you would get otherwise. But yeah, 58 to 60 frames a second on a uh, standard 1050. As I said, this is with the upscaled uh, 1080 uh, tech pack also enabled as well. And actually, it is a very nice looking game, to be honest with you. Oop, crack up the tree there. A little toad dude's gonna take me out. That's the only thing I've noticed on this is there's no little mini map to show you where the uh, your opponents are. Hmm. That's good. But yeah, this game is running mostly pretty decently. Sorted. There you go, that's just been a quick uh, demo test of uh, Mario Kart 8 on MU, DEMU 1.7.4D. And as I said, just uh, give you a demonstration of uh, how the shader cache works and what it does. Uh, hopefully this uh, video has been uh, useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching.